Hey guys, it's Allegra with Moon Water and Lightning Studios, and today we're going to do one of my all-time favorite go-to things uh, to do with my Cricut, and it is use HTV to make a t-shirt. <laughs> HTV is short for heat transfer vinyl. So it comes with a carrier sheet and you cut it in reverse and then use heat to apply it to fabric. And it allows all kinds of cool customizations to your own clothing or you know any kind of fabric, really. Okay, so we're going to set up the design that I'm going to put on this t-shirt. So I'm going to go to my upload photos and I've already decided I want to use this David Bowie image. So you see all of these little dots here. We're not going to cut those. So I'm going to go over here and select to hide them, which is much better. And then I want to go to these, this red that's coming through on the collar and down here, and I'm going to hit contour because I don't want to do any of the red except this one big piece. So I'm just going to select all of these little dots. When you're doing a smaller design, little tiny pieces like this don't add anything to it and they can actually be frustrating to keep within the design. So that cleans things up a little bit. Um, and then I want to make this image a four by six and 5.944 is good enough. So we're gonna save this just in case something happens because software will be software and crash and then click make it. Now, when you're doing HTV, when you're using HTV, you want to make sure to mirror the image. So it will flip the image because when you're actually cutting it, you will have your vinyl, the, the piece of vinyl that adheres to the shirt will be facing up and the side that you actually see will be facing down. So we want to mirror the image to make sure that the right side up comes over correctly. So go through each one of your mats and click mirror and you see how it just flips right here. It will flip the image. And then we're gonna go to continue and we are going to cut our vinyl. Okay guys, I wanted to take a minute and talk about how I measure my shirts to place the image. For most sizes, I drop about six inches from the collar. On smaller shirts, we're gonna do one and a half. This is just a preference. Uh, I don't want a design sitting on top of my chest. So I'm going to estimate this design at six inches because it still gives you some room, you know, top and bottom. And then the widest part of the design was actually four inches, but that was at the bottom. And then it tapers. So we're going to do four by six and we'll pretend the pocket isn't there and still centrally locate the image. Now we need to pick vinyl. I don't throw away things. This is my vinyl, my leftover vinyl pieces. For smaller designs, I like to come here first to see if I have any scrap pieces, like David Bowie skin. And we need yellow here. We need a piece of blue. This should work. Before I cut it, I will make sure to measure it compared to the, the cut so we don't have any issues during the cutting. And then we need a piece. 
piece of red. I think this might work. So again, I'm going to go measure these before cutting, but that is our next step. Okay, guys, now that we have our vinyl cut, we're going to weed really quick. This little tool is a Cricut brand tool. It's one of my favorites. You can get them anywhere. You can use tweezers. They have these, this brand tool, but you see how that just pulls right off. I do want to say when you cut your vinyl, make sure that you have the carrier sheet face down. So the machine is actually cutting the vinyl and not the carrier sheet because if you have it on a um, iron on setting on the HTV, it's not going to be enough pressure to cut through it and then you won't have a carrier sheet. So it's the shiny side uh, with the blue you can actually see, but here some vinyl you have white on the back so that sometimes helps. I'm just going to pull this off but I did want to make sure to mention that because that's another good way to waste your vinyl. But I find this little tool super useful. about the placement yeah see that's pretty perfect okay so now I'm going to heat up my heat press I will say that if you have a heat press or you're planning on getting a heat press make sure you have a Teflon sheet to go between your t-shirt the vinyl and the heated plate so shirt vinyl Teflon and then the press if you are using your home iron, your handheld iron, that's great. I still use my handheld iron. You just have to make sure that you press down hard enough to apply pressure to get this to stick. I have had vinyl come off that way when I was first making these. You know, the, it, I just didn't put enough pressure on it. So that's another thing to remember. And with a handheld dryer, you can just use a piece of parchment paper between the shirt and vinyl and the iron. So as long as you have something, you don't have to use a Teflon sheet. And I actually found that using a Teflon sheet with a handheld iron is too much. I prefer to use parchment paper if I'm using a handheld and Teflon if I'm using a heat press. So let's go ahead and put this shirt together. Okay guys, so here is our shirt. Um, I did want to mention during the press to not press the shirt each layer. When you're layering vinyl, you do not have to press the entire time each layer. So just enough to get the first layer to stick and then the second and third. And then once you get all of your layers on, because some of them you will have to place uh, one at a time, so there's no overlap. Then you can press it for the full 12 to 15 seconds, depending on what type of vinyl you're using. Uh, but yeah, here's our shirt. If you enjoyed this or you have questions or comments, uh, please let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Uh, there's a bell down there for notifications to be turned on. That's also something you can do if you want to see more. And thanks so much for watching my channel.